Hi everyone, it's Beth. Um, I'm here to give you a short restorative practice. Um, this is something to use when you're feeling like you've got a lot of tension living in your muscles. Um, you might be having tension headaches, you might be having um, anxiety manifested in things like tight neck muscles, tight jaw muscles. If you are feeling um, chronic pain start to come up, um, whether it be in low back or knees or whatever. Um, restorative yoga is really nice for stress and pain management. So you can kind of pick and choose from these poses if there's a couple that you want to kind of put into your home practice or you can do this start to finish like a class. Um, this is just like a little taste of restorative yoga. It's not going to be a very long class, but it'll definitely help you get some of the clench a little unclenched, if you will. Okay, so we are going to start lying down on our backs. And then I want you to have a couple, that's the other thing, a couple different things that I want you to have. I want you to have a couple pillows, um, maybe throw pillows or something like that. Um, if you have a yoga bolster, great. I'm going to use mine for the purposes of this class. But if you don't have a yoga bolster, you can stack a couple bed pillows. The firmer, the better. Um, in place of the bolster. Also having a blanket nearby is good for some of the longer hold, held poses in case you get chilly. So lay down on the back and take the bolster or the bed pillows and slide them under the knees and take one of the smaller pillows and rest it behind the head. and start to lie down and get comfortable and make sure that you're not feeling any kind of tension in the positioning of the body. Just tucking that pillow really into the cervical spine, into that curve. Letting your toes face in opposite directions, so the heels are towards the midline and the toes are facing out. Flip the palms towards the ceiling and start to breathe into the center of the belly. Letting the breath rise and fall. And then we're going to start to count the length of the inhale and the exhale. Drawing the inhale in for a count of six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Out, six, five, four, three, two, one. In, one, two, three, four, five, six, out, six, five, four, three, two, one. In, one, two, three, four, five, Six, out, six, five, four, three, two, one, in, one, two, three, four, five, six, out, six, five, four, three, two, one, hold the breath out. Inhale. Drawing the breath in, making the breath large in the chest. At the top of the inhale. Exhale slowly and completely, and then hold the breath out. And as you hold the breath out, try to notice the stillness in the body.
inhalamos. Hold out the breath. In. Out. Hold. Good, and then come back to your normal breath. Reach your arms towards the ceiling. Make sure that the shoulder blades are soft. Interlace the fingers, flip the palms towards the ceiling. Press into the inner wrists as you draw the shoulders down. Inhale. Exhale, a little bit more of a push through the inner wrists. Keeping the shoulders grounded so you're not reaching through the shoulders. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. On the exhale, slowly bring the arms overhead towards the back of the mat. Continue to press through the inner wrists. Good. Bring the arms back alongside the body. Circle both wrists. Wiggle the fingers. Start to circle the ankles. Wiggle the toes. Good, and then use your elbows to start to push you up to a seat. Finding a comfortable seat, ideally sitting on a pillow or even the bolster so that your seat can be completely soft and easy. Starting to notice the sense of breath and where it's moving in the body. Good, lifting the ring finger and the thumb. Resting the forearm on the chest. The pointer and middle finger can stay tucked into the palm or it can go towards the third eye point on the forehead. Whatever's more comfortable with your hand posturing and also whatever makes you feel more centered. Make sure that the belly is really soft and if that requires you to put your hand on your belly and give it permission to be soft, which unfortunately can be kind of counterintuitive to the way that we usually live. We usually suck it in and up and hold and hold and right now we're looking for softness and ease. So let the belly pour out and if that means it's kind of like <laughs> give yourself that sense of softness and forgiveness and understand the beauty of that softness. Ring finger and thumb. Bring it towards the face. Beginning alternate nostril breathing. Closing the first nostril with the ring finger. Inhaling deeply through the open nostril. Exhaling completely through the open nostril. Closing both nostrils. Opening the nostril that was under the ring finger. Inhaling. Exhaling. Closing both nostrils. Open the nostril under the thumb. Inhale. Exhale. Close both nostrils. Open the nostril under the ring finger. Inhale. Exhale. Inhaling through the opposite nostril. Continuing with this. Making the pace of the breath very articulate, very slow. 
And if you have a hard time staying focused on the sensation of the breath, you can picture the breath as a light or a color entering the side and exiting the side. If you're congested or if you have a deviated septum and this breath is uncomfortable, you can always rest your hand down and just picture and imagine the breath coming in and out each side. This breath has a lot of benefits. It helps get blood flow to the edges of the body because it helps activate the parasympathetic nervous system. So the rest and digest. It also helps connect the two sides of our brain. So it strengthens the dendrites that communicate messages between each side of the brain. It gives us a sense of calm energy, of easy alertness. It might open up some space in which you feel like you can actually feel your body in a soft and easy and joyful way. Stick with the focus of the sensation of the breath. Think about things like the temperature of the air that comes in. Think about things like the way your body collapses just a little bit on each exhale. Finishing up with this breath, so making sure you're symmetrical, ish. And then resting the hands to the knees and starting to move through a modified cat cow. So cat is a tilt in the pelvic bone, navel to spine, shoulder blades spread, chin to chest. Cow is the chest lifting, shoulder blades close behind you. Reach through the chin, extend through the throat and move slowly enough that you can notice how it feels as you move. The more synchronized you make this with the breath, the better. Really try to incorporate the movement of the chin. This helps cleanse out the thyroid. It also energetically helps get some space where we've clenched in on the throat. It's like energetically where we stash all the shit we want to say that we don't say. Let it go. Good, neutral spine. Think about the crown of the head lifting. And then slowly take the left ear towards the left shoulder. Most of us will have a tendency to want to tip our chin forward because it gets the ear closer to the shoulder, but it's not about that. It's about a length that's happening here. So think about lifting up and then over. And if that means your ear is not as close to the shoulder, that's fine. So it's left ear to left shoulder, roll the right shoulder, go slowly. Just rock that shoulder around until you really start to feel the sensation building and the length building. If you've been rolling the shoulder to the back, switch directions. And likewise, if you started rolling it to the front, roll it to the back. Good, lift the head back up straight, crown of the head towards the sky, roll both shoulders. Good, shoulders draw down the spine. Right ear moves in the direction of the right shoulder. Think about the chin coming back a little bit and then draw that left shoulder down. Roll the shoulder. directions of the roll.
Good. Lift the head straight up to the sky. Inhale. Hold the breath. Open mouth, let it go. <sighs> Chin to chest. Roll the left ear to the left shoulder, through center, right ear, right shoulder. Move at a slow and steady pace. Good, chin to chest. Interlace the fingers to the back of the skull. Let the elbows hang alongside the temples. Don't yank, and if you know yourself to be a very motivated person, a very um, type A type person, you might yank. Let the arms be heavy, and let that be the only thing that's drawing the chin down into the chest. Draw the shoulder blades down a little bit towards the tailbone, inhale. On the exhale, make the breath out slow and steady. Good, on the next inhale, lift the head and open up the elbows. So inhale, exhale, close. Inhale, start to move the spine a little bit more like cat and cow. So on the exhale, elbows come together, spine arches. Inhale, lift the heart, open up the elbows, maybe lift the chin, let the head fall back into the hands. Good, hands down, roll the shoulders. Good, peace sign fingers, take them to the hinge of your jawbone. So walk your fingers around into that joint until you feel a spot that might feel a little bit bruisey. If you're a teeth grinder, you'll feel it pretty quickly. Even if you're not, if you are a bite your tongue person, <laughs> or if you are a, I don't know, any kind of clench person, which I think we all are, I'm pretty sure. God, I hope I'm not the only one. <laughs> Walk your fingers around, find that spot that feels a little soft, a little bruised, and then inhale here, make sure the, the body stays soft everywhere else, inhale. Exhale, tiny bit of pressure, and then circle. Tongue is soft. Make sure it's not pushed to the back of the teeth or the roof of the mouth. Good, and then find that joint. Inhale. On the exhale, tiny bit of a lift up with the fingers. So you're pushing the upper jaw up just a touch. Good, and then release the push. Drag the fingers down the sides of the neck, all the way to the collarbone, and then throw off the tension. Again, fingers to the jaw, slide the fingers down. All the way down, throw off the tension. Good, peace sign fingers on each side of your ear. Take the fingertips as far up as you can, slide them down, all the way down the sides of the neck. Throw it off. Again, don't be an overachiever. Be the feeler of this, not the doer of this. Good. Middle finger to the inside edge of the eyebrows. Roll around there until you feel that little bit of pressure. Inhale. Exhale, apply just a little bit more pressure. Inhale. Exhale, pressure. Inhale. Exhale, pressure. Good. Just a gentle slide across the eyebrows. Peace sign fingers to the temples. Circle.
Good. Slide these fingers softly down the face, down the neck. Take your fingers like this to the back of the neck. And just slide the fingers down. Take your time and try to really notice what it feels like. Good, and then lobster claws. Pinch that trapezius muscle. Take your fingers as far down as you can. Slide the fingers up. And squeeze. And again. Squeeze. When you get to the top, give it a good squeeze. One more time. Good, and then release and flip the hands off. Interlace the fingers, flip the palms, press the palms away as you draw the shoulder blades back. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, lift the palms towards the ceiling. Shoulder blades down, inhale. Exhale. Good, release the hands, roll the shoulders. Roll into a table position. Maybe you wanna put something under your knees like a folded up blanket. Start to move through cat and cow and take your time. Inhale, all the way up into a cow. Exhale into a cat. And I'm going to return to that counting. So inhaling from your cat pose, starting to take the inhale up to a count of six into cow. One, two, three, four, five, six. Out, six, five, four, three, two, one. In, one, two, three, four, five, six, out, six, five, four, three, two, one, one, two, three, four, five, six, six, five, four, three, two, one, hold, Good, slide the hips back towards the heels, walk the hands forward, child's pose, let the ribs shift side to side. Good, grab your bolster. Take one pillow to the far end. on top, or you can do both pillows under. Take your knees wider than the bolster or the uh, bed pillows. Slide the chest forward. Take a side of the face, doesn't matter which one. Nuzzle into it. Start to direct the breath to the base of the spine. Our muscles and our mind clench for similar reasons. We clench because we, we don't believe that if we let it go, we'd be okay. We feel like what we're holding on to, we need to hold on to. And for most of us, that's frequently some form of control. So our muscles clench because they want to try to control the, the ways that we're moving, the ways that we're responding. It's well-meaning, but we can reassure our muscles with our higher self our more trained nervous system that they can soften. So for the next few breaths, bring your attention into the ribs 
the side ribs, the intercostals here. And actually use your imagination and imagine all of the muscles that hold those ribs together. They're responsible for assisting in the breath, making space for those deep inhales. And as you breathe, try to notice and give them permission to soften. Trying to imagine all of the muscles that thread through the ribs, taking a little bit more softness, having an easier time of it. Slowly lift the face and just take it to the other cheek. And then bring your attention into the space at the center of the shoulder blades. And imagine those, that thick area of muscle starting to soften with each breath. slowly lift up, push the ground away, and then you're just going to shift so that the low back is up against the bolster. Just start with, have your knees bent, stacked on top of the heels, and then start to lower down. Nuzzle the pillow into your cervical spine. I'm going to grab my blanket. So there's options here. You can stay here with the knees bent. You can drop the knees open, soles of the feet together. Or you can take the legs long. The legs long is going to be a little bit deeper on the low back than if the knees were bent. With the knees open and the soles of the feet together, you might get a little bit of opening sensation in the hips. But if that feels strenuous at all, you're working against the meaning of the pose. So don't do that. And then let your arms fall alongside the body and flip the palms up. Start to direct your attention into the sensation of the low back on the bolster. You should feel a nice sense of support there. And I'm going to come back to the counting of the breath. This time increasing the length. If it's a little too long for you, you can return to a different count. I'm going to take it all the way to an eight count. Closing your eyes or finding a focal point, and if your eyes are closed, maybe turn your internal gaze towards the third eye point on the forehead. Inhale, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, out, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, in, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, out, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, in, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, out, eight, seven, 
six, five, four, three, two, one. Continuing with this pace or changing it to your own. Beginning to bring your attention into the muscles of the forehead. Feeling a sense of softness and ease spread through the forehead. With each exhale, making those muscles softer. Bringing your attention to the backs of the eyes. Feeling a deep sense of softness from the backs of the eyes into the sinuses and the cheeks. Feel softness in the jaw. And softness in the corners of the mouth. Attention into the center of the chest. Notice the breath gently moving there. Bring your sense of imagination into what it must look like for the muscles to move this way, lifting and lowering with the breath. And then give them permission. Tell them it's okay to be soft. Push the elbows into the ground, slowly lift yourself away from the bolster into a seat. Wobble on your sit bones and pull the pillows or bolster, rest them on your legs. And then start to wobble a little bit more and more forward. Bend your knees if you need to. Let the spine curve, so you're making this as passive as you can. Rest the forehead on the pillow. If it's too low, put some more pillows on there. Relax the quadriceps and relax the feet. Bring your attention deeper into the awareness of your spine. Start at the top of the spine and trace the spine with your attention. Bone by bone by bone. All the way down to the base of the spine. And then try to observe how it feels to take a deep breath and notice the space between the bones increase. And then on the exhale, let the bones kind of come back towards one another.
slowly unwind. Taking one pillow for the back of the head. Sliding the bolster back under the knees. And then pressing into the feet and lifting the bolster so that it's right under the tailbone. So we're kind of in a modified bridge looking position here. From here, slowly walk the feet out. You can have your arms alongside the body. Maybe even taking the legs fully extended and noticing that gentle sense of back bending on the, on the low back and maybe all the way up into the thoracic. And you can customize this. If you don't feel like this feels good, if this doesn't feel soft, if you feel like you're clenching because of discomfort, then put your feet back on the ground and relieve some of the tension off of the, the pose. You can bring it all the way in if that's what is good for you. And also, let me just grab a spoon with my feet. Um, if you're not feeling anything at all with the legs extended, you can make this higher with an additional pillow. But you should not be moving into such a depth where it feels like you're working. It should feel really soft. That is the point of this style of practice. And when you think about the discipline that it is required to soften, especially if you are a go, go and get it done person, which I feel like most of us have to be, even if we're not born that way, we're kind of conditioned and socialized to get up and get it done. And so that implants itself in our muscle memory. And so sometimes when we ask ourselves to be soft, our body doesn't know how to do it. So give yourself all of the opportunity that you possibly can to be soft here. Good. And then step the feet back. If you're using more than one pillow, take one out. So you're just on the bigger bed pillows or the bolster. And then take the feet up to the sky. Wiggle out the toes. Circle the ankles. Resting your hands on your belly and noticing that your breath is moving there. One of the larger uh, sabotagers of restorative yoga is that we feel like we aren't accomplishing something that's worth something. And that's one of those larger problems that we can kind of work on on our mat and then take it off our mat. We don't have to be doing something to have worth. We don't have to be checking something off our list. We don't have to be solving a problem. We don't have to be proving that we're capable of something or moving towards a goal. We can be completely still at complete and total rest and have tremendous worth. Ask yourself if you can believe that in this moment of stillness. As your mind wanders away, send your attention like a fishing line into what is happening right now. Pick a sensation, whether it's the sensation in your toes or the pressure that your back has onto the pillow or the air moving in the room and try to notice it and notice it in specific ways.
good and then bend the knees bring the feet down slide the bolster back under the knees grab your blanket and make sure you're at your most comfortable for final relaxation For the first few moments, just noticing your body, making any adjustments that you need, making yourself warmer or cooler, adding an extra pillow, whatever needs to happen. And I'm going to walk you through a relaxation that one of my teachers used to do in classes that I took with her. I'm going to name a part of the body and all you need to do is repeat my words in your mind and believe in them enough to notice what's happening in the body. I feel my toes. I relax my toes. My toes are completely relaxed. I relax my feet. My feet are completely relaxed. I feel my ankles. I relax my ankles. My ankles are completely relaxed. I feel my knees. I relax my knees. My knees are completely relaxed. I feel my hips. I relax my hips. My hips are completely relaxed. I feel my belly. I relax my belly. My belly is completely relaxed. I feel my chest. I relax my chest. My chest is completely relaxed. I feel my arms. I relax my arms. My arms are completely relaxed. I feel my palms. I relax my palms. My palms are completely relaxed. I feel my fingers. I relax my fingers. My fingers are completely relaxed. I feel my spine. I relax my spine. My spine is completely relaxed. I feel my jaw. I relax my jaw. My jaw is completely relaxed. 
I feel my eyes. I relax my eyes. My eyes are completely relaxed. I feel my forehead. I relax my forehead. My forehead is completely relaxed. I feel my head. I relax my head. My head is completely relaxed. I feel my body, my whole entire body. I relax my whole entire body. My whole entire body is completely relaxed. If you have more time, staying here for as long as you can. Otherwise, giving your body gentle bits of movement. Wiggling fingers and wiggling toes. Taking your time to come up to a seat. May the kindness we wish to see in this world begin with the kindness we extend to ourselves. Namaste. Thank you, everybody.